Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to count a particular element in a list. So right now we have a list where everything is unique, but we're going to create a list with some duplicates and count them. First, you should understand how len works. Len is a function that will give you the length of the list, which is the total number of elements. So this is going to return an integer. So what you can do is you can print it. And when you do this, you should get the value four for this list. So that is how you count all of the elements. We know there's a total of four elements, but we don't want all the elements. We just want one of the elements. So we can be a little bit more specific. And instead of using len, we can actually use a method on this list by saying backpack dot count. Count here is going to take one piece of data. And that is the string in this case that you are looking for. So if we are looking for sword, we can put that in there. And when we run this, we should get the value one. That's because there's one sword in our backpack. If we decide to go in here and add more swords, which I don't know why you have a bunch of swords in your backpack, but whatever. You put three swords in here now and we get the value three. So this can be used if you want to cap the number of items in a list. You can do a condition. You can say if backpack.count of sword is let's say less than five, then if it is less than five, what we will do is we'll add another sword to the backpack. So we just say backpack dot append and pass in sword. So this is how you can dynamically cap the number of elements. Anytime you want to add, you can check to see if it's under some number. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do this, but just throwing that out there. If you wanted to cap it to just one, well, in that situation, there's actually another data structure you can use and that is a set. And we're going to be talking about that really soon. The only other thing I wanted to throw out there is that if you're ever doing a check to see if the count is greater than or equal to one, well, there's actually an easier way you could do this. And all you would have to do is say if sword in backpack, which we already talked about earlier on in the series, but this is basically going to see if the count is one or higher. Basically, it'll just go through the list. If it sees sword, it's going to break. So you can do this if you don't care how many there are. As long as there's one, then this will pass as true. With count, you can be a little bit more dynamic because you can actually check for a different number than just one. So maybe you want a list where the cap is three of each item. You could do that using the count method here. So that is how you count for a particular element. We're going to do some variations of counting in the upcoming videos. So I'm pretty excited and it should be pretty fun. And I'm going to teach this really well. You can, you can count on me, I guess I should say. But I swear I'll spare you guys the terrible jokes for the rest of the series. So stay tuned for the next one and we'll get into it. See you there.